Hi guys, Mac here again. Just a short follow-up video for my review of the 2020 MacBook Pro yesterday. And really it's just to cover the behavior of the machine when we have an external screen plugged in. I know on the 16-inch MacBook Pro people have had problems with the fans, all that sort of stuff. So I thought we could test this unit and just see what it's like. So let's start off then. Let's just remind ourselves which machine we are looking at. This is a 2020 13-inch unit. It's one of the ones with four Thunderbolt 3 ports. It has a 2 gigahertz quad-core i5. That's one of the 10th gen processors and with 16 gig of RAM in it. Now, at the minute, I don't have a screen plugged in, but there is something that was worth looking at before we get into this, and that's the fan speed. So up here, I'm going to show you the max fan control just so we can see this can you see the range there is 1250 to 6336 and 1350 to 6864 now the oddity i find with this machine is actually when it's not doing anything max fan control shows the fans at zero rather than at those minimum values now i'm actually recording the screen at the moment which basically has the fans on at a quite a low level i certainly can't hear it before we get into it, let's just have a quick look at this here. So this is the state of the fans when the machine is left at idle. Note that it's saying the fans are set at zero. Now I've tried to listen to the machine and I can't hear the fans running. So it does seem that when the machine is idle and cool, the fans don't run at all. So let's get into this. Let's see what happens when we start plugging screens in and all that stuff. So here we are plugged into an external screen. This is the LG 5K Thunderbolt 3 display. It is that one there. It is a beautiful screen and probably one of the favorite ones that I've used. But then again, at that price, you would expect it to be. Now, the first thing I've noticed is it even leaving this machine plugged in, doing absolutely nothing just with the screen plugged in. We don't see that effect of having zero RPM on the fans. Now it is running higher than idle. What I'm seeing is if I leave the machine alone, it averages out at around 12 to 1300 RPM for those two fans. But because I'm recording the screen with QuickTime, it seems to have ramped the fans up slightly. Let's have a look and see what's happening with the temperature stuff. So we've got the Intel Power Gadget running here. And as you can see, the utilization is actually quite low. I'm not doing anything else on this machine other than having it plugged in to the screen. Let's leave that running for a few moments. So as you can see here, just leaving the screen recording and on idle, the temperature seems to have settled between about 78 and about 82 degrees. And the utilization has been hitting between 10 and 15 ish percent. So this is a screenshot of the machine at idle, but with the 5K screen plugged in. So as you can see, even at idle when it's cool, the fans are on, they're running at about 1250 RPM and 1360 RPM. So what about screen lag? Do we experience any of that when using the 5K external? Well, let's have a look. So this is the Mac Rumors website. Let's just scroll up and down that. I have to say the performance is pretty good. I don't think there's much of a lag. I mean, it is slightly slower than the internal screen, but I think it's entirely usable. Certainly compared to, say, my 2018 Mac Mini, for example, the lag on a 4K screen on that is so annoying that it makes it practically unusable. What about things like Final Cut Pro? Well, let's get that fired up. Here we go. Now, this is the project that I used for the review yesterday. It's exactly the same file. And using it, it feels very, very similar to using it on the internal screen. I think there's a slight lag compared to the internal, but this is entirely usable. Let me play back a component of it. Just bear in mind, this is on a handheld camera, by the way, with no stabilization. Now, one thing that you must consider, though, are the fans. Have a look here. You can see the temperature there is about 90 degrees. And, of course, the fans are ramping up to control that. Let's have a look here. There we go. Now, bear in mind, I am recording the screen, and that does put an additional load on the machine. When I tried Final Cut Pro without the screen recording it still ramps up the fans but not quite as much as we're seeing here what about throttling does the machine throttle when we're on an external screen well let's go and have a look at this what i'll do is in the intel power gadget we can set the graphics test to maximum 
and we can set the CPU test to maximum. So this should max the machine out. Let's see what happens to the temperature and the frequency on the left hand side there. There we go, I've let that run for a little while. As you can see, the average frequency is 3.29 gigahertz with a minimum of 3.2. It's certainly not approached the two gigahertz base clock speed there. So let's get this closed down. What I'll do now then is let me get this set up for a clamshell test and we'll see if the performance is any different. So before we do any testing in the clamshell mode, what I've done is set it up on clamshell mode and just left it idle without recording the screen or anything. So this is just a screenshot. So as you can see, the fans settle out pretty similar to if I just had the screen plugged in in extended mode. So the fans were running at around 1250 and 1350 RPM. And if I left the machine for extended period, so that's pretty much where it's settled. So let's move on. Let's try and put some load on this machine now. It's running in clamshell, so the screen is closed and I have an external keyboard and mouse plugged in. Okay, we're now recording the screen. Let's fire up some common apps and we'll see the impact it has on the fans and the temperature. So let's perhaps start with Chrome. You can see here, for example, we've got the Mac Rumors website that we were looking at earlier. I've also got BBC News running here. The performance is still pretty good. What about things like some Office apps? So let's fire up Excel and Word. There we go, and perhaps Photos as well. So that's a, a reasonable test. This is from my trip to New Zealand, I think, at the end of December last year. So I think you can see the performance is pretty good. That is perfectly usable. How cool is this mini? I absolutely love that. I'd have happily taken it home with me. What about things like performance? So let's go and have a look at the temperatures here. So you can see there that the temperatures are certainly creeping up. And if we bring up max fan control here as well, you'll see that the fans are slowly creeping up as well. Now what I found is using it in clamshell mode, as soon as I actually start to really use it, what I'm seeing is an average of at least 4,500 RPM from the fans. So there is certainly some fan noise. Now, when it gets to maximum, which is around 6,000 plus, to be clear, I'm only really seeing that when I'm recording the screen as well and actually loading it uh, you know, with Final Cut Pro and some other apps. Most of the time, it seems to be between the five and 6,000 point, but there is certainly some fan noise there to think about. Now, one thing that did occur to me, is there a difference between a Thunderbolt screen and a 4K HDMI screen? So let's perhaps go and have a quick look at that and see if there's any difference in performance at all. So firstly, let me apologize if this audio is rubbish. I've actually gone to another office to use a 4K monitor and I've just used the USB headset that happens to be on the desk. So we're currently connected to a Dell 4K screen using a USB to HDMI cable. I've let the machine settle for a little while and as you can see, the fans are settling at around the same point that they did with the 5K Thunderbolt 3 screen. So let's move on. Let's have a look at this operationally and see what the performance is like when we're using this type of screen as opposed to that Thunderbolt 3 5K unit. So here we are now plugged into this 4K screen. So let's go and have a look at the screen setup to start with. So what you'll see is I've plugged in, but I, I've actually changed the resolution to the scaled mode of 2560 by 1440. By default, it selected the 4K 3840 by 2160, which is a little bit unreadable to my eyes. So we are running a scaled resolution. Pretty much immediately, you can see the temperatures are going up, but that could be partly because I'm recording the screen. But let's go off and we'll run a few things as well and just see what the effect is. So let's just fire up Office here. I'll also bring up Chrome where we've got BBC News there. We've also got the Mac Rumors site. So let's just scroll through it. Now, again, I'm not really seeing much of a lag. It is very usable. It's certainly not anything like as bad as the 2018 Mac Mini. In fact, I'm not seeing much of a difference between this and the 5K unit in terms of lag. There we go. So let's go and have a look and see what impact we're seeing on the actual temperatures and also the fans. Perhaps just fire up photos there as well. And why not? We'll get Final Cut Pro running. So 
So it's still perfectly smooth to use. I'm not seeing any lag issues or anything like that. That is perfectly usable. But let's go and have a look at the temperatures and the fans and see what's happening there. So as you can see, the temperature now is up and then 90, 95 degrees. And because of that, the fans are ramping up. Let's have a look at the fans. There we go. So we're approaching 6,000 RPM, well, 5,700 RPM for the first one and over 6,000 for the second. So the conclusion for this, as far as I can see, is that if you are going to plug in an external screen, you have to accept some fan noise on these units. Now, I know that's what people have been complaining about on the 16-inch unit as well. So as to whether you'll find that annoying or not, that's only going to come down to you and your environment. I will say the fans are a little bit noisier with the external screen than I expected. I don't normally use my machines, my laptops in this model. Usually I have them plugged in, but I use them on my 5K and my iMac Pro using screen share. So this is not really a problem I tend to experience. But I can imagine if this is how you want to work all day, those fans running all day could get a little bit annoying.